Natasha Venter of Angelic Clarifications and I talked about so many things. The topic that stood out most was her experience around grieving and her evolving role after her parents crossed over. She found she needed to redefine herself. We talked about being vulnerable and asking for help and guidance in our journeys. Today's meditation leads you to that inner sanctum, a place where you can feel safe to just be. Welcome to Blue Lightning Healing Meditations. My name is Susie Parker Goins. I'm a channel, so I bring forward your guides so you can connect more easily with them, allowing you to have soul deep conversations with them whenever you want. I'm also an energy healer, past life explorer, a teacher. My goal is to empower you by teaching you these techniques that you can use on your own. We work together to find and identify the blockages to your growth and release them, inviting you to explore your possibilities. I'm available for phone and virtual sessions, and with Washington opening up, I'll be at many of the in-person events. The best way to contact me is Susie, that's S-U-S-Y, Susie at bluelightninghealing.com. Visit bluelightninghealing.com for up-to-date information. Blessings. Life can be convoluted and folded all over itself. Taking time to stop, breathe, and assess what's needed in the moment can put you on a path to healing. Vulnerability and asking for help are not, I repeat, are not shows of weakness. It's in those moments of looking into your own humanity that you find your strengths. Our focus today is feeling safe and protected with your angels or guides in whatever form they manifest. Get comfortable. Remember, you are in total control of this meditation. We do not ask you to do anything that is out of your comfort zone. If your body needs repositioning, then shift. If you have to leave the meditation before the end, that's all right. No detrimental effects will occur. You can come back to listen to this at any time. Breathe. Breathe in love. Breathe out other people's energies. Breathe in love. Breathe out releasing other people's energies. Breathe in love. Breathe out other people's energies. Breathe in love. Breathe out tension. Breathe in love. Breathe out tension. Breathe in love. Breathe out tension. Breathe in love. And as you breathe out, scan your body. Breathe in love. And make sure only your energy is there. Breathe in love. Breathe out love. Feel your body in the chair or bed. You are fully present in your awareness. Adjust your body to get more comfortable. Understanding the chair or bed holds you without judgment. Release 
yourself fully into the chair or bed, confident that you are safe in your space. With each breath, you relax deeper and deeper. Your body releases more tensions and tightness. Breathe into your feet, which means to bring your attention to your feet as you breathe. How do your feet feel? Send them love and healing. Now breathe into your ankles. Send them gratitude for helping you balance on your path. Now we check in with your calves and shins. Breathe into them so that they relax. Now bring your focus up to your knees. Surround them with a warm love energy. We move up to your thighs, breathing to encourage the hamstrings to relax and breathing to allow the quadriceps to release. Now breathe into your hips. Is that cauldron your pelvic bowl? A cauldron of creative expression. Thank your hips and pelvic area for supporting your body in balance. Bring your attention to your spine. You can feel it run up your torso, supports you, giving you structure, having you stand tall on your path. Thank it for being a part of your body, anchoring your ribs which surround your vital organs, and being the casing for your nervous system. So much love and gratitude to your body. Now your organs, the digestive tract, send it healing for efficient processing. Your stomach, Breathe to soothe the jumpiness it can sometimes experience. There's your liver. Breathe into it to release old angers, clearing the blood. And your kidneys, thank them for releasing fears. Gratitude sent to your spleen, your pancreas, the gallbladder, and your lungs. Oh, the lungs. They have been taking in air and sending oxygen to your heart. Thank them for all they do for you. And now your tender heart. You can feel it beat your lifeblood throughout your system. It holds love for yourself and others. Now shift your attention to your shoulders. Feel them reset into a strong position, 
holding only your energy. Now focus on your arms. They are strong enough to carry you through your life and to hug yourself. Clear your arms to allow love and energy to flow through to your hands. And you thank each part of your body for its part in your experience. Now onto your neck and head. Thank your neck for supporting your head. Understanding that flexibility in perspective is, at times, a challenge. Breathe into your neck to encourage it to relax, to stretch, and to release. And now your head. Ask your mind to take a break, if only for a moment. Set aside that to-do list. Slow the chatter. Thank your mind for discerning truth. Send gratitude to your eyes, for they see your world in the divine spectrum of experience. Thank your eyes for seeing love. Thank your ears for hearing truth. Thank your ears for hearing love. And gratitude goes to your mouth for speaking your truth, for speaking from a place of love. With each breath, you relax more deeply, allowing the energy around you to swirl and clear, to balance and protect in this safe and sacred space. You are source in human form. Call Universal Source in through your crown chakra, down into your brain, to settle your mind. Then Source flows through your head, to your neck, your shoulders, out your arms, and to your hands. Source continues toward your heart, your torso, your hips, legs, your ankles and feet, and into the earth. You know this space you have created is a safe space for you to be. You have cultivated this space as your sacred space. You know you are protected here and you know you are loved here. that you carry source love with you throughout your life. This is also the space where your guides gather to hold space for you in your times of need, in your times of joy, in your time. Today's gathering consists of your angelic guides. 
each one steps forward to greet you, to embrace you, to remind you, you are on a healing path, the right path for you. With each embrace, feathers flutter down around you. <laughs> no, there will not be bald angels when you are done. These feathers come from source, soft, silky, in an array of colors with the spectrum of divine energy emanating from them. The feathers swirl and dance around you. They even add a beam of source light shining down from overhead. You can turn your face to the light. It is bright, but it is not painful to gaze at. You can feel source love coming to you, through you, all around you. You know you can let down your defenses in this space because you are surrounded with love and protection. No one takes advantage of your openness here you are free to open your heart to source and to your guides. You are open and encouraged to ask questions you may have, to request guidance, to ask for backup and support for your healing journey. Notice how liberated you feel to completely drop your guard in this moment. The weight of your life falls away. It lessens so that you can breathe more deeply to gain clarity, to review your choices here is a space in which you can consider your options with no judgment, no pressure, all love and protection. Breathe. This is what feeling safe in your vulnerability feels like. You are surrounded by guides, loved ones, angels. The feathers remind you to be gentle with yourself. And yeah, angels are with you during your day. Maybe you'll find a feather on your walk or a feather on some sort of sign, even behind your eyelids as you dream. Look at the clouds. Are there feathers in there? The birds that fly about you, those are feathered too. Maybe you'll hear a whisper of love on the breeze. The trees. A flower. Your angels are with you. How do you wish for them to appear to you? As you wish. Breathe. Breathe the knowing that you are safe with your guides. Breathe the knowing that they are with you looking out for you, walking with you along your path. 
as they send you love, send them love. Thank them for their service and release them if only in the now. Feel the protection of your sacred space. Integrate the love and protection into your energy. How calm you feel. You now have clarity so you can focus on what you need to do in your life. Yeah, it's time to come back to that life. But you come back into it integrated and knowing that your guides and angels are with you. You carry their energy with you. You carry their love and their protection with you. So breathe. Breathe yourself back into your body. You can feel your body in the chair. Breathe yourself back into your awareness. It happens easily. You feel refreshed, energized, clear and whole. Breathe into your toes and fingers. You can make them move. Now stretch and rotate your ankles and wrists. Extend your arms and legs. Twist your torso. Yawn if you want to. Stretch and move your neck and head. Your mind is clearer. Your heart is open. And when you are ready, open your eyes. How do you feel? Yes, yes. Drink the water. Enjoy the snacks. Journal or share your experiences. Be kind to yourself and to others. Until next time, blessings.